you, you've thrown out some bits here um, about your journey with your faith. Uh, so how did you come into a faith of your own? What, what did that journey look like? Well, you know, I mean, it's, I don't think I'm any different than anyone else who believes anything. I think most of us start with the thing we are given by our parents. Some of us are given a very, very defined paradigm that makes sense at the time. That's what mom and dad believe. That's what I'm going to believe. And, uh, and, and that belief might be nothing. That belief might be atheists. You know, I mean, it, who, who's to say? But we all start out with these influences. And I was very fortunate because I had, I had parents who were, you know, were very, uh, very serious about, about believing that God was active in their lives and that we should be active in the life of making the world a better place, you know? And uh, so they had a real social conscience. They were real uh, pro civil rights people. And so I had a lot of good stuff, a good foundation and a real sense that Jesus was just sitting on the couch in my parents' house, that this was just part of life. He was there. And so to this day, I believe he's there. Um, but then there were also the trappings of growing up in a very religious home that ironically made me afraid of God as well. You know, what will God do if I get divorced? What will God do if I swear, you know, and I can tell you he'll do nothing about the swearing because I do that often. But, um, the, um, you know, so that thing that you're, you know, I mean, I have so many, I have friends who have, who worry about, uh, who grew up worrying that if they had a nocturnal dream, uh, you know, if they had a wet dream that, that, uh, and God came back at that moment, Jesus came back that moment, they would go to hell. You know, I didn't have that extreme, but, uh, but I did have a lot of what will the Lord, what do you think the Lord thinks of you? That was my, my mother's big line was, what do you think the Lord thinks? And it's just interesting to me. I don't, I kind of don't think, I don't think the same way she thinks. I'll just suffice to say, I'll let readers figure that out. My mother, is, she's a huge character in the book and in life. And she's very, in my opinion, she's, she's possibly the most interesting character in the book because she's a very complex person with beautiful ideas on the one hand and then uh, a lot of immobility uh, because of some of her other ideas. So... Uh, anyway, I don't know if I answered your question or not, but uh, I don't even know what the question was. Let's <laughs> talk about your faith journey. No, that was that was really good. That, okay. that was, you took us.